Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. Let's do some family food puzzles today. And uh, I didn't pick anything out, so let's skim through and see what looks good to do today. At least I got a couple of things out of it that I still had. Name something that couples in love sit and stare at. What would they sit and stare at? Let's, I don't know, I guess let's do this. The only thing I can think of is stare at, they stare at each other. What else are you staring longingly at? Um, this one should be interesting, okay. We'll do this one. Um, And then we have uh, more words to find, so we have some lovey-dovey stuff here cupid um fatuated attraction beloved chocolate a little chocolate so i think number one is each other stare at each other so i will try to find that as well I'll try to find that right now Right here, each other. So, to find five more words, I have no idea what else. Um, something that couples in love sit and stare at. Oh, maybe like, I guess the sky, <laughs> watching the sunset or something like that. I don't know. Flowers. Passion. Yes, passion. Um, let's see. The stars. Okay, yeah, so that's what that's in here. So I say that's number two. They sit in on the grass or whatever and stare up at the stars. I don't know that I've ever done that. Door. And then again, I live in New York. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to to lay on the on the grass or whatever and look up at and see any type of stars. Cause there's so much lights and it's so so many buildings and stuff out here. In Nashville, yeah, you can see. When I used to live in Nashville, I could see the stars. That wasn't an issue. In New York, no. I see action here. Traction. Traction. Attraction. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was part of a word. Um Cupid. Cupid. Okay. It is starting to get nice and cold. It's first of all, it's been like in the 70s, high of 80 in October in New York. I've been ready since October came. We are now in fall. I have been ready to take out my jackets and it has been hot. It has really been hot. So today actually it's one of the colder days. It's, I think the highest it's gonna get today is 60. And it's it's really windy outside, but that's really nice. I just don't want it to do the thing where it's been warm. Like I said, it's been 70s. And then instead of toning down, it just goes to freezing. <laughs> I want it to ease its way into cold. So I hope that I hope that happens, but New York weather is really something else, to be honest. Okay, um, let's go over the rest of these words. Um. A 
use this here. A more I'm just gonna keep that in mind. I don't think that is one of the answers for here. Does it make sense? Maybe something that couples allow to sit and stare at. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, heart. I'm trying to see, which is usually how I do with these puzzles, if something. I, f I randomly find a word when I don't know answers for this, like I don't right now. I see this part of a word, something. Okay, no. Infatuated romance feels romance. Sweetie. Oh wait, is it sweetie? Oh no, okay. So it's like sweetie pie or something like that. Infatuated. Um, we have one, two, three, four more words left here, and four left here. Name something that couples in love sit and stare at. <sighs> Maybe they sit and stare at, um, I don't know, sunset? <laughs> I mean, if they look at the stars... Let me look at and see if I see. Oh, I look, I'm right. I don't know if it's sunset or sunsets. So we're just going to uh, cross out sunsets. And um, let's see, infatuated. Okay, infatuated. I see a bunch of X. Three more words. Mm, look at the okay. word and I still haven't figured this out oh a movie maybe movies here name something couples in love sit and stare at I mean I think people just genuinely uh, genuinely watching a movie stare at movies they don't gotta be in love but I'm not gonna put that I don't know if it's an answer or just a random word Cause sometimes that happens there's a random word that's not in the answers Crush is the last word from here. I feel like it's some somewhere over here. Um, 
with these words. I need two more here. All right. I think I'm going to start filming again how I used to. I used to film really late because it was the most quiet time. I've been filming early in the mornings. And um, it's quiet, but then there's just random there's random cars with loud music, there's an ambulance, and then kids get out of school, or usually like 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, it's quiet, and you don't hear many cars driving down a block or anything like that, so. I keep pausing. Alright, so I was on, oh, I'm looking for the last two. Absolutely no clue. no clue so I think I am going to move on and um, yeah let me look taking one last look for this I'm going to move on and do one more puzzle and then we'll go look at the answers maybe something will pop up in my head Outdoors. Hmm. Let me look if I know what to do that. Name an ingredient in salad dressing. There's only four answers to that. I feel like there could be more answers than that. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that. So name something you see in every house in America. There's only four answers to this too. That could literally be anything. Uh, showing off, name something people buy as a status symbol. I'm gonna do this. Um, I think car, house comes to mind first. And here goes car. Okay, I don't know if, if car will be number one. I'm, I'm going to assume it will be. Name something people buy the status symbol. Okay. I don't know if car or house will be number one. But I'm going to put car first. Wealth. This should be near. Okay. Um. Oh. My be five by nails <laughs> I love them I love them I did two different things on on um the thumbs I like this I had did this um like blood dripping just because I didn't know what to do on a thumbnail so this is kind of my go-to <laughs> but um then I liked I thought that was this because I did those I did these little lines on here and I liked it so my nails for the week I was let me tell you I was ready I was ready to take these things off I went to great adventures first of all I had a great time so much fun we were there all day literally like 10 11 hours um for fright fest we mainly went so much fun I got scared so many times but um I went on the Joker ride and when I tell y'all I am traumatized I got off that ride like this in on the verge of tears yes I'm not a roller coaster person at all I did go on a good amount of roller coasters that, that day so um, but yeah, I was like on the verge of tears. The only reason I held back a lot of tears was because getting off the ride, there were like kids and they were asking me like, oh, how was the ride? I was like, oh, um, <laughs> I didn't want people to get creeped out 
or like be like oh i'm not getting on this because i got off crying so um i was like oh it was it was um i forgot what i said i think i was like it's scary or something like that but fun but um yeah that that roller coaster is uh, it's very fast but the way you're sitting in your seat you're spinning while you're going around the track um so it was very crazy for me i'm not a roller coaster person so yeah so after i got that ride i looked at my nails i was like i'm about to take these things off to be triggered <laughs> i'm triggered by that joker ride but it was so much fun I am glad I got on the Joker and I'm glad I got on all of the roller coasters that I did get on, even though I was just scared out of my mind. I'm glad I did it. Um, but I'm sure if you like roller coasters, that Joker ride is nothing to you and fun. And everybody who I went with actually loved it. <laughs> it was so it was so funny getting off the roller coasters with everyone because everyone besides one other person who really didn't get on the roller coasters at all um everybody else loved roller coasters and wanted to get on all of them and every time we would get off they would be like oh my god that was so fun and i'll be like okay that was so <laughs> that was traumatic Yeah, so I'm sure that Joker ride is nothing to those of you who love roller coasters, but if you're like me and you are scared of them, it won't be as enjoyable. I will say some of the roller coasters I went on were fun. Um, yeah, some of them were fun. I don't I don't enjoy the roller coasters that do that long wait to go all the way up and drop like King Ka. There's no way I'm getting on that. Even the people who are with were like, nah, we're good on that. Um But I do I don't mind twists and loops and I don't even mind um the loops going upside down I actually don't mind that but I can't do those drops I hate them exclusive yeah I hate the drops give me a roller coaster that goes right to the point like let's get off the track with speed and do some swirls and some loops and all of that some of the roller coasters I went on just were not enjoyable for that reason like the joker i did not like it wasn't enjoyable for me because i was scared the whole time and then some of them i'm like okay i'm scared but this is fun at the same time you know um so i was actually screaming on those the ones that i did not enjoy like i was not even screaming i was really just focusing on like please let me not fly out this thing <laughs> even though i know roller coasters are safe for the most part, it still doesn't, um, it still doesn't make me any less scared of them. Like, I know gravity plays a huge part in all of that with, with us not falling out, but still doesn't help me not be scared. Now, when I was younger, oh, I would do it all. All those rides and roller coasters. And while I was there, I saw so many tiny kids being so excited to go on all of the rides and the roller coasters. And they were getting off like, yeah, that was so much fun. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> You're so small and young. And just like not scared of anything. But uh, yeah, I had I had such a great time. But um, 
looking at my nails is a constant reminder of that joker ride. But I intend to go back and tackle the roller coasters that I did not get on. Um, I didn't get on Nitro. I actually wanted to get on Nitro. Um, but it was pouring down rain by the time we went to that ride. And the people who I was with, they did go on it. And when they got off, they were like, like, zero out of ten because it was raining so the rain was hitting them like like really bad and it wasn't enjoyable because the rain the you know the wind and the rain hitting them in the face so so hard it wasn't enjoyable so i'm glad i didn't go on but maybe next time um so i found all the words here and um let's get into here and i did say house here goes house i'm not sure what else name something you will buy as a status symbol i'm gonna say maybe like a ring or jewelry clothes yes um Yeah, I feel like some type of jewelry or ring might be up here. Yeah, here goes jewelry. Um, and we have one more word. I think we can do this. I think we'll find the last one. Um, so we got the typical car, house, clothes, jewelry, and, um, hmm. As a status symbol. Hmm. Name something people buy as a status. A boat? I don't know. <laughs> mm, land? I feel like this last one could literally be anything. Oh, a business? Maybe a business? Um... Stocks? Like this could be anything. Alright, I'm gonna I'm just gonna move on and find the answers. Um because I'm skimming the puzzle but I don't really see anything and nothing is really clicking. Like I can't think of, of what it could be, so the answers are on page 144. Okay. I'm um, showing off. So, tattoos. Interesting. I was not expecting that answer. As a status symbol, I feel like you would get tattoos as a status if you're affiliated with like a gang or in i don't know some organization or something like that i didn't realize i didn't think people get tattoos as a status symbol okay well there goes that i did not look at the the order did i get the order right no i didn't car jewelry clothes then house i thought house would be up there but okay and the answer to uh, right the one we did was up here somewhere right in the all right so this is on page 144 the answers to it in love 
So they look at each other. They look at stars or television. I feel like television would be the same as movies, but okay. And a fireplace. This this one was ridiculous, honestly. Sunset, I got that. So fireplace and a television. And television is number three. Okay. So television and fireplace. And I'm writing really sloppy. Television, let's look for it real quick. Same with fireplace. I wouldn't have thought of fireplace and I wouldn't have thought of television because I feel like it's the same thing as movies. Let's look for vision because I'm saying a whole bunch of TEs but not the full word. So let's look for partial word which would be vision. Okay, yeah, that's it. So we're done. So that's it. Um, this that puzzle was I don't know. <laughs> that was ridiculous. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And my little Six Flags rant. I have a lot to say about Six Flags, but not enough time today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.